Hello, everybody. It's Sherry and Beverly with Aging Backwards. Hey, Bev, happy Sunday. Hello, and happy Sunday to you and everyone out there. I hope everyone is well this new 2021 year. The second Sunday of 2021. It's off to an interesting start, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is. Very interesting. And we're going to keep it even more interesting because gotcha. we're going to talk about weight, weight loss with the chakras, yes. with the seven chakras. This is our topic for today. So is it showing up, Sherry? We got it. Awesome. So this is Agent Beckers with Beverly and Sherry. Sherry and Beverly, I'm flipping it backwards. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So I'm going to let you do the intros and we're okay. going to get this party started. And actually you can do it any way you want because I believe you created that title page. Oh, okay. <laughs> it flows. I absolutely love the way it flows. Yeah. So anyway, if you don't know us, I'm Sherry Lynn, a culinary nutrition expert, health educator, certified consistency coach at Sherry Lynn Inc. I'm the founder of The Exhaustion Fix. I help exhausted, busy women learn how to eat to help put their hormones in check so they can start to feel awake again and fit back into those jeans in the back of their closet. So if you would like an essential energy boosters guide, all you have to do is write down that URL there and punch that into the search bar and you can grab that for yourself for free. Awesome. And I would encourage everyone to do so. Hello again, I am Beverly. I am a certified health and wellness coach and my business is Beverly Hills Health and Wellness Coaching. I've coached clients who have lost over 50 pounds in the course of one year. I specialize in working with women to elegantly transform the menopausal period through my holistic program, which is online and individual. I have them in group settings as well. So you can step into your dazzling health. And you can reach me at the website listed below. Great, thank you. So before we go any further, we always have to share a disclaimer. So this information is for educational and informational purposes only and solely as a self-help tool for your own use. We're not providing medical, psychological or nutrition therapy advice. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat any health problems or illnesses without consulting your own medical practitioner. Always seek the advice of your own medical practitioner and or a mental health provider about your specific health situation. If you want to read the full disclaimer, there is the URL that goes to the many pages of the full disclaimer, if you choose. Thank you, Sherry. So as Sherry indicated, we're talking about weight loss. And it is weight loss with chakras. So do yes. you know what chakras are or what a chakra is? <laughs> This has been a new topic for us to do together. And it's been so much fun. And because this is a new topic that we have associated with the weight loss. Absolutely. So you might not be able to find this information in other places. Sherry and I are always looking for ways to research content and bring it to you with the best possible information to help you with your health and wellness goals. So with weight loss and chakras, chakra means wheel. And there are seven main energy centers in our body along our spine. And these are spinning discs when they're heavy healthy and their energetic systems and as long as they're spinning and moving they're considered as open and aligned but when they're closed or they're out of balance then that shows up in some problems that you might see happening in your body and this originated in india around 1500 bce so sherry just jump in because i know you have you were gifted something and it was going to be a beneficial conversation to weave in the information that you found using your gift sets. And what I found in my research and my sort of kind of self, self gifted present. <laughs> yeah, well, I have this book, Chakra Healing. And this was gifted to me by Lisa Freely. I signed up for her program. Lisa was the one who actually 
um, wrote the disclaimer that we just read. So when you think about the chakras, you think about healing yourself from within. So we all have limiting beliefs and stories we create for ourselves. And one of our my topics this last week in my Facebook group was limiting beliefs. We all have stories we tell each other, stories that inform how we live our lives. While some of these stories are true, most are usually outdated. Yeah. So oftentimes we carry the pain from these false stories in our bodies. And more specifically, we carry them in our energy centers, otherwise known as chakras. We hold on to things. Right. And right. that can be the blockages that we have. Now, the other thing that I was gifted was these oils that came with it. This is a chakra oil. And these are, I can show them later as we get to the oils, but they are roller bottles, which are phenomenal. And each one is associated with each of the seven chakras. Yeah. So that is such an amazing gift and such a thoughtful gift. Um, this is 2021, so we're in the quarantine period, but I was traveling a lot and I would carry roller balls with me when I travel because certain oils can help you calm down, can soothe you, and knowing when we go to the sections on oils, which oils will help you in certain areas. For me, just having those scents and certain pulse points for my body I felt that I can go through TSA <laughs> without being violated and screaming and losing it. <laughs> so yeah, this is very important that we can incorporate these chakras and use ways to support our bodies with those oils. So we were talking about the chakras and they go in order and they're from the root, which is the base chakra going up work till you get all the way to the top which is the crown chakra and they are color coded and sherry did a good job of identifying groups of chakras related to spirituality and physical balance so sherry if you would share that with us sure the upper three chakras are considered the spiritual chakras which focus on the connection to the divine as well as our higher self that version of ourself that is tapped into our purest expression of love, wisdom, and power. The lower three chakras are considered the physical chakras, which ground us as human beings on the earth. So both the spiritual, the upper three, and the physical, the lower three, are connected in the center through the heart chakra, okay. love and compassion. Perfect. So when you're talking about the upper spiritual ones, that's the crown chakra, the third eye chakra, which is here, and then the throat chakra. Those are the spiritual yes. top three. And yes. then you reference the physical, which is the root chakra at the base of the spine and the sacral, which is also mm -hmm. known as like the navel or spleen. And yes. then going up to the solar plexus. So those are the physical, right? Right. And then you're connecting them through the heart, which is, you know, in the center and then your throat chakra right here. So those are amazing. So you'll be able to identify like, you know, if I want to work on my spirituality or I need to work on being grounded, you know, which chakras to focus on. So that's fantastic information. I just love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by learning which ones go where we can empower ourselves to transform even deeper into what we want, the creatures that we're meant to be. Correct, so. fantastic, great, great knowledge. Okay, so we're gonna talk about chakra balancing. So chakras respond to our daily experiences that we receive and transmit energy from people in our environment. Thus, this influences us emotionally and physically. And I know Sherry and I kind of had a little conversation and when you walk into a space, sometimes you can feel the energy of that environment and you can tell whether it's a positive or a negative environment. And this is what we're talking about with your chakras. You're going throughout your day, giving and receiving these energies in your bodies and you can feel it emotionally. 
Mm -hmm. You can feel it from other people and you can even feel it through to somebody that maybe they just talked to. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and then all of a sudden it was like, a, all of a sudden there was some negative energy and then they came over this way and then it was like, whoa, what just happened? But you can also do it too with positive, positive. energy. Someone's bubbly and lively and things are good and you can feel that as well. Absolutely. So, and that's the energy we want you in to be balanced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So when the chakras are clear, when they're healed and balanced, we're engaged with ourselves and life in the most healthy and positive ways. So that's what Sherry was saying. Like if you're in a space with good people and having these positive energies, then that's gonna make you healthy. So we're gonna focus on trying to be in the most healthy way possible. So, uh, sorry. So when a chakra is out of balance, we are negatively affected by our endocrine system and our body's organs associated with a specific chakra. And as Sherry had pointed out earlier, there's these different sections of chakras that are grouped together and you can focus on grounding yourself and making something that you're dealing with much more easily work through and incorporating an oil to address that imbalance. So we want to focus on trying to stay in balance. And when you're feeling that things are not in the proper um, source energetically, then you know that this is an area that I want to address. So the, uh oh, popped out of here. To move this board that was in way to say oh, did you get it yeah. okay good okay thanks so yeah. this can impact and interfere with our ability to release excess weight and engage in healthy eating so just knowing that then these chakras are not in balance they can affect us with losing weight which is very important if you're trying to focus on eating healthy and you're finding that you're not able to lose weight then need to focus on getting the chakra in balance. Right, and when our chakras are in balance, our lives are in complete harmony and our health is good. And if a chakra becomes blocked, it, we can experience emotional distress and even disease. So we want everything, mind, body, and spirit flowing. Yes, very synergistically. So we're gonna talk about the root chakra for a moment. And in the first bullet, it says when our root chakra, which is our chakra, it's the bottom of the spine. So when the chakra is healed and balanced and functioning properly, we are motivated to eat healthy and take care of our bodies. Mm -hmm. so I'm learning to be mindful of that root chakra. Um, Sherry and I had a conversation earlier and she's getting the, getting prepared to go through some um, acupuncture, is that right, Sherry? Acupuncture, yeah. Uh, so I had gone through it myself and I was out of balance in one of my meridian points and it made a world of difference, Sherry. No, I was going through a little pain and once I had my uh, acupuncture treatment, I felt like I could almost do flips like a little kid. It just made such a difference knowing that that energy had been released and flowing properly. And so I'm excited about your, your upcoming the, appointment. I have an appointment Wednesday and I will have to report back next Sunday how it goes. She's actually a former student of mine that will be doing the acupuncture on me. She went to school to be an acupuncturist I, from what I understand. So I totally trust her. She was one of my um, fabulous students. And the interesting part about this is I had hip surgery, labrum reconstruction in my right hip. I keep saying two years ago. I think it's three years ago. <laughs> I'm saying two to make myself not feel so bad. But I'm still rehabbing. Like I'm still like my hip flexor, my the tissue around it. I'm working with the personal trainer, which we talked about last week on here. And I'm like, I have to do something to, so we're gonna see if those meridian lines are blocked, 
the chakra, the root chakra has to be blocked. Mm -hmm. I was talking to um, a yoga friend of mine. She does her yoga class with an acupuncture um, together. I will get to that. Um, but what's interesting too is when you had your acupuncture done, the acupuncture is done along the meridian lines, not just where the pain is. Right. Right. So it, I, this is very fascinating to me. So what's interesting too of the root chakra, it also goes in line with the varicose vein I have on my right leg, which stems from my right hip. Mm -hmm. That valve backflows, and I've gone to several doctors about that, and nobody can help me with it so far. So I'm interested to see if the acupuncture also helps with that. So well, I'm sure you're no, acupuncture is only one way, one modality, another, we could do Reiki, we could do meditation, we can do yoga. Right. Uh, is it Qigong? Um, I do reflexology on my feet as well. Mm -hmm. So, and I was actually good this week. I had my hair done Friday and my, the Todd does my hair. And when he's got it all in the dye, I lay down on my stomach and he does the reflexology on my feet. And if you look at a reflexology chart, each part of your foot is to a different organ or intestines or, and I was, even though my body's been inflamed, I didn't have any hot spots on my feet this time. Wow. My, which means my diet was pretty good last week. Yeah. So that's what that usually means. So. Well, that is awesome. Just knowing that you were able to address some concerns and he was able to point out which organs are affected and it mm -hmm. didn't require medication. It didn't right. require these long appointments for all of the follow-up care. It's just like, it's, it's just part of your self-care. So I'm like, every time you go, I can tell you went because it's like, you have all of these positive conversations to share from being there. I, I love all of this. And, and the thing is, there is a place for medicine. There is a place for prescriptions. I am not against that. You know, the big hospital in Milwaukee kept my boyfriend alive last year on machines and medication. I don't have any problem with that, but I really do think that, that a lot of times we are our own healers from within and we have to take those measures to do what we can right. to get where we want. So it's our responsibility, Seriously. but we need help along the way, just like so I hired an acupuncturist. I hired a personal trainer. Do I, can I just totally afford all that? No, because I've had to put other things aside so that I can pay for that. Yeah. So, you know, I'm dropping a hundred dollars for the acupuncturist on Wednesday, but it's to my benefit. Right. Because I'm going to be able to do so much more. So same thing with the personal trainer. She's helping me get through this and getting stronger, which is just, there's no price tag on that. Right. There's no price tag on health. So I do as much as I can at the time and eat healthy, right? We all try to eat healthy. Right. So, so like I said, it's, it's very important to own your health, to take these measures, to be as physically fit, to eat well, to do what you can to avoid unnecessary medication. And true, there are times when that's necessary. But normally, if you're taking care of the basic fundamental needs, you should be really good when you go in for your appointments. But it's when you make all of these decisions to not eat right, to not work out, to not put yourself first, that these end up being the blocks within these energy systems that shows up as toxicity and illness. Right. And you and I were even talking before, like we all need a coach. You know, I have my coaches, you have your coaches. Several coaches. <laughs> you, yeah, we have more than one coach actually. And then also the personal trainer and the acupuncturist are going to be my 
medical coaches. So, but we also coach each other. So sometimes I think too, we just need to be able to talk to somebody and that's where not just therapy comes in, but if you have a coach, a weight loss coach, like you and I, that right. you can run things through right. and talk to. And if, if you really want somebody to, to like bounce some things off of, get a hold of Bev or I, it doesn't cost you anything to talk to us. Absolutely. And then if you want to go through one of our programs, of course, we will share that with you then, but it doesn't cost you anything to get the initial intake or get our opinion on something. Right. So you're more than welcome to email, um, text us, Facebook us, Messenger, however you can reach us. Very well said, Sherry. I really appreciate that. And it's really great for people to know that they have places to turn for support. We're happy to do what we do for you. Mm -hmm. so we will get back on our chakras. So we're the chakra we're going to talk about is the sacral chakra, which is also referred to as the navel chakra. You might see it as the spleen. It's going up to that belly button area. So when the sacral chakra is healed and balanced, it helps us with overcoming our food cravings, which is really key for some of us because that's where we're derailing our weight loss a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the third chakra up is going to be the solar plexus. And when it's healed and balanced, it helps us to take charge over our health and our eating habits. It's going up the like stomach area. And then we're moving up to our heart chakra. So when the heart chakra is out of balance, we're not centered in love and the self care and the nurturing of ourselves is just not taking place. And I think I find that this is challenging for a lot of the women that I coach It's like, they've been taking care of so many other people that their own self care is lacking. You found that to be the case working with some of your clients, Sherry? Absolutely. They take care of everybody else, their kids, their family, their husband. And I, I think it comes from generational though, because that's what mom did. That's what my mom did. She, and you know, bless her soul. She was a stay at home mom. She had all the work to do. And us kids were a handful, <laughs> you know, she had, she home cooking and the garden and you name it, but we weren't taught to put ourselves first to make ourselves a priority. Mm -hmm. And even this morning, my daughter's best friend said this year, I'm going to do more for me. And I hear women say that, but then it's the part of doing it. It's really tough because you're exhausted. You are fatigued. It's the end of the day. You know, I used to just want to sit down on the couch with my glass of wine and my cheese and crackers. And there I sat and, you know, they had one glass, they had two glasses, they had three, feeling good, go to bed, wake up, do it all over again. <laughs> and then wonder why I was packing on pounds. Yeah. Slowly over time. Mm -hmm. But then I want it off like tomorrow. Right. <laughs> but it took how long to put on, but yet I want it off in three weeks. And it doesn't work that way. So yeah, we we all need to put ourselves as a higher priority in our lives. Very true very true and we are here to support you in that endeavor because that is one of the key ones for me especially working with women in the area of menopause because this is like your second spring this is the time for you to focus solely on you your goals where you're interested in moving in this phase of life so yes definitely focus on your heart chakra take care of yourself the next one is the throat chakra. It is here. And I was telling Sherry, I wore the blue, which is the color that, that is uh, parallel to the 
throat chakra so I can have clarity in communicating the presentation. And she was like, oh, I didn't realize that that's what the color blue was that you were wearing. So this is in um, collaboration with doing the presentation and working from my throat chakra. The third eye chakra, this is located here. And I remember many, many years ago, I would hear people say, you know, don't just see with your eyes, see with your third eye. And I just couldn't get that. Like, what is a third eye? Like, is this like a psyops, cy cyclops? I think it's like, come, come. And, it's like, this is the place of wisdom and intuition. And it supports us in being tuned in to our needs, including our health and our well being. So that's what we're referring to when we say the third eye chakra. And the top is our crown chakra. It helps us feel connected to our higher selves, to be spiritually minded and focusing on our life force energies. I want to go back up to the throat chakra, Beth, because um, it can cause stress in the thyroid gland, which is connected to our metabolism, which in turn relates to how fast or slow we burn fat. So if your throat chakra is unbalanced, that would be something to take a look at. Great. Thank you for pointing that out. I'm sorry I skipped that. And it's really important because it affects how we're burning fat slow or not happening to the degree that we want to. And if you think about the throat chakra, like this is where you're eating and your food is being, going through the digestive process. So yeah, thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate it. Yeah. Anything else we need to cover here and make sure we're nice and clear on where we are with our seven chakras? No, um, everything is good. The, the throat chakra. I was just thinking when you said mindfulness, you know, and mindful eating and intuitive eating. And like, I have a brother that just inhales food. Like he doesn't like slow down and taste the food. It's just like shovel, right? And it's like, sometimes we just need to be more mindful. Yes. You know, put, and I, I find myself doing this in my office too, where at school, when I'm, I teach at a primary school. So when I'm in my office, Sometimes I'm eating and I'm on the phone or I have a, I'm checking email and just take that 20 minutes and just sit, you know, and take some time and that would really help. I so totally agree on that. Um, when I had the family home, we had dinner time together. That was one of my pet peeves. I wanted everybody together. I wanted us at the table to eat and we weren't eating with our cell phones or our books or what. It was a time to be present so we can have a communion of sort. Mm -hmm. To just give thanks for the day that we've had. So I truly appreciate you bringing that up because people miss how important food is. It's nourishing. It's a life force. It brings so much to us as far as our health and wellness, and we need to be intentional about it. And I truly try to still be purposeful and mindful when I eat. I'm not one of these people who like, gets my meal and sit in front of the television and eat. Like, that's not what I do. Um, I will say as an exception, when football games come on, we might have a little snack so we can enjoy it with the, um, the game, but that's not having our dinner in front of the television. Like I'm going yeah. to be sitting, have my time to have my meal and I want to be present with it because I don't eat, you know, six meals a day. So when I do sit down to eat, it is, intentional and purposeful and I'm not trying to go through you know a lot of other busy work while I'm having my meal time so take that to heart yeah absolutely and football is football right you you it's have to have your snack during the football game come on That's, it so. is truly a thing <laughs> yeah and you're in Packer country, right? And I'm, I'm in Packer country. Area, so we've got Washington going to the playoffs. So it's a thing. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, for those of you that don't know, I'm in central Wisconsin, so I'm in Packer country. I'm about 35 minutes from Lambeau Field. Yeah, so I'm in the DC metro area. This was Redskin Nation, but they changed the name, so we're not referring to it anymore, but we're all about the football up here in DC. Um, there's still a lot of infighting as to which team <laughs> <laughs> have conversations because there's always warring between like cowboys and Indians. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Back to chakras. So there are ways that you can care for your chakras. We will only address this one. Sherry and I had collectively found ourselves in the same space with oils, which is one of the main reasons why we did this research on weight loss and chakras. So Sherry's gift of the set of chakra balancing oils, that was a wonderful opportunity for us to share with you. Yeah, so these are, there's seven blends in here from Rocky Mountain Oils. I'm not affiliated with Rocky Mountain at all, but Lisa Freely, the one who does did my website disclaimer and everything, um, she sent this along with the book and they are roller bottles. So all you have to do is take it and roll it on the, around the chakra that you're working on and of course like i said mine is the root chakra so this is the one that i used and the roller bottles are just so nice mm -hmm. yes so nice so friendly yeah so there's seven in here and um they are all blends like i said there's like six different in this one i can't hardly read it with my eyesight now but remember you were saying that the root chakra had a blend of like Frankincense and myrrh. Is it vetiver or vetiver? Or I don't know how you say that one. Yeah, and the frankincense and and it smells delightful. It smells very good too. So that could actually be your perfume because perfume is actually all chemicals. Mm -hmm. So right. I don't typically wear perfume I'd rather wear essential oils that are going to benefit me in somehow. Right. Wonderful. And they smell good. And I even have a bracelet that the other fire teacher at school made me that um, it's got the stones on it that absorb the oils and I can put on there. And each stone is a, a gem that or crystal type that means something as well. So you can really get deep into this if you really want to. Absolutely. Yes, I had um, a necklace that I would wear. It was like an amulet and it opened up and there was a disc inside and you drop a little oil on the disc and you close it back up. And it was like the um, design of the sacred flower. And, you know, along with roller balls, I always had those in my luggage as well. And I would be sniffing on my, usually lavender is like one of the favorite scents that I like to travel with, but I did have some blends that had a combination of oils for helping you for stress or helping you for sleeping. So I am a big fan of oils. Sherry just shared hers that was specifically designed for chakra balancing. Um, I was also in the market for my own self-care. So I actually bought an entire kit of oils and their young living oils. And this has been a treasure for me. I've been going through and just learning more about the individual oils. So I've been an advocate of oils for decades. I've always used oils, but the young living is supposed to be a really premium quality oil as well. So I'm going to be looking to work on my chakra balancing. I usually have them around the house and in diffusers in each of my rooms. So it is something that is life giving. Again, these are essences from the plants and they are highest quality. And so get that benefit of using them on the body and having that healthy outcome of balancing your chakras. 
Yes, and I, I love Young Living as well. Yeah, it's been around. I've heard people talk about Young Living for a long, long time. So I finally invested in myself <laughs> with an entire- you. See, you set yourself as a priority. Yes, I did. You invested in yourself. <laughs> Enjoying it as well. <laughs> yes. So, and then when you're doing this too, take, you know, it, it's not a fast progress. Don't get um, frustrated with yourself. This can be a very slow, you know, like I said, with weight loss before too, it comes on over time, but we want it off within a week. Mm -hmm, right. It doesn't work that way. So even with the chakras and when we're learning, give yourself a break, be patient with yourself. If you go too fast, sometimes you'll end up with a little bit of a headache. Yes. You know, so your own timeline, not somebody else's timeline. Yeah, everybody's body is different. So take it at your own pace. So what we're going to share right here is um, blends of oils. Like if you had a kit like mine and you want to come up with putting together your own oil for working with your own chakra that you want to focus on. Um, I find myself loving lavender. So I'm interested in the jasmine and lavender combination to work on my crown chakra for spirituality. <laughs> so I'm going to be focusing on that. That's going to be one of my priorities because I think when I'm spiritually focused, then I feel that that works from a heart centered place. Very good. Yeah, that's, that's just my perspective mm -hmm. in your situation. You're focusing on your root chakra and you did indicate the, the, the balaver, but you also yeah. got the yingling. Yeah, and mine had the frankincense, but I see it now, vetiver. I was like, how did they say that? It's, yeah. Okay. And say that 10 times <laughs> it's a tongue twister mm -hmm. oh another one that i've been doing lately is cinnamon i love spicy things and now that i have cinnamon i've been adding a little cinnamon um with the young living oil there are topical and digestible oil so the ones on the top they're in the white and these are the ones that are supposed to be digestible and these are the ones that are topical and I know that there are some people who have concerns about digesting oils so everybody you know we've already did the disclaimer and you have to do what works best for your body um, I haven't had any issues or concerns it's just you know a drop or two I'm not like turning the bottle up <laughs> even oh, though right. here I did have an experience where I waste some oil and they are potent. So be careful because you're supposed to always use a carrier oil when you're applying these to your skin. Right. And the thing is, they are more potent. There's, you know, like it's coming directly from the plant. Whereas like I had a cinnamon is anti-inflammatory as well. So I had a smoothie after my workout at the gym and it had a lot of cinnamon in there, you know, but you're talking about a lot, lot more in that little bottle. Right, right. So, right. So these are just considerations. If you have any questions or concerns, we have resources here where we have found a lot of this information and don't just limit yourself to these places, but this is basically where we pulled a lot of the content from that are referenced. Um, Sherry indicated her gift from the Rocky Mountain oils. Um, mm -hmm. She's affiliated. I did check out the website and they have some wonderful information out there. Um, the Young Living, I actually did purchase it. I had to become, a, I don't know what it's called, a, representative or something. I don't know what it's called, but I just bought them for myself because I wanted the entire kit. <laughs> so if you have any questions about Young Living, I could probably address those for you. Um, Sherry, any further 
concerned. Yeah, the, the book that I shared before, Chakra Healing, A Beginner's Guide to Self-Healing Techniques that Balance the Chakras, this is by Margarita Alcantara or Alcantara. Okay. So very good book. It has like three different phases in a beginner and then goes a little deeper. So I'm really enjoying it along with my oils. So very interested in it. Yeah. We might have more to come on chakras, huh? <laughs> you know, well, I think we'll touch back next week too, after my acupuncture experience and we'll see, you know, see how it goes for me. Yeah, you guys, we would love to hear your feedback on what your thoughts are and what your um, questions or concerns might be around chakras. And if you want to hear more about chakras and weight loss, um, this is our question and answer page. And on our platform, we provide you much love research on topics. And if there's anything specifically you have a concern or question about that you would like for us to do research on, we would be happy to do so. Um, we have a YouTube channel. Sherry has her content on the landing page so you can contact her directly about something specifically you want it related to her program. Um, we just are grateful that you show up and you support us here and would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and invite a friend along. So Sherry, any following comments, closing words? Nope, just reach out if you, if you need anything. You know, even if you want to talk about something um, you haven't been able to figure out an answer to or why you have those cravings or why you're just so tired all the time. Awesome. You know, so again, I'm Sherry Lynn. I, there's my Instagram, my Facebook, and my group is called Overcome Extreme Fatigue with Sherry Lynn. You can also grab my Essential Energy Boosters Guide. The URL is there. And thank you, Sherry. I appreciate it. Again, I'm Beverly. I am with Beverly Hills Health and Wellness Coaching. My tagline is Step Into Dazzling Health. I can be reached at the website listed there, beverlyhillscoaching.com. I have Facebook, Instagram, and also I have a free ebook on helping you bust through belly fat. So again, we're glad you're here. We ask that you would follow us with our YouTube channel and subscribe. And again, we appreciate you being here. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Have a great week. Take care.